To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright with me Yeah, you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Cause you know that's alright <laughs> Who figured that out before I said that? Who knew where, who knew where I was going? Okay. So, Bart, no, that on the plane. No, it's just, just like that. Just like that. Was he using C's on the plane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were using C's. No, I, I gave Bart a I am. Um, was it prepped up the lair line? I must like him. I never heard of guys who were flying back to Cancun. You know, I never heard about his C's, but I did a lecture, I did a speak. A couple, uh, maybe um, a month ago, I talked to a room. And at the end of the um, talk, after about an hour of just talking and talking, he takes out a piece of paper and he made a list of all the words that I talked about that started with C. <laughs> there were 60 words that I mentioned that night that started with C. And that was the first I heard about his C issue. <laughs> 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 you know, and uh, you know, uh, some of us has other things to worry about. Well, he, all day long, he's going around. <laughs> We're here today because we have a business together. We have a business together. We're a good pair. We're a good pair for lots of reasons. In Philadelphia, after, I'm, I'm in business for 42 years in Philadelphia, some kind of real estate business. And Bart's been doing this for, you know, 60 plus. And Bart has his son, David, who I love dearly. So it's really like three of us, so you never see David. So Bart and I have, truly Bart and I, have over a hundred years in the business. And Bart said something interesting. Now, right away, my competitive juices are up. Because I'm here to make money. I'm here to sell you and convince you that you gotta come to me if you wanna borrow money. And I know there's six or seven other people in here who are here for the same reasons. Now, my competitive juices, what's that start with? See, <laughs> my competitive juices, and I got to prove to you why Bart and I are better than anybody else. And I listened to Bart. That's the first time I really heard him speak, I and mean, he did a really good job. And I, I learned I learn a lot every time he talks. Right? And some of the stories, yeah, I've heard that one already, but a couple I haven't heard. That was really interesting. By the way, I'm the one that bought that property from him for a million dollars, and the next day I sold it for two million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that would be a good story, right? <laughs> Customer. Customer. So what Bart said it was interesting. We talked about, as a lender, as Bart and I as lenders, we each bring different things to the table. Um, in addition to money, there's a lot more involved as a lender. And, you know, who, who said there were a new person coming in? Who asked? Was that you that asked? Bart and I used the, Bart used the word, we'll hold your hand. Okay? We protect you. As a borrower, we protect you on some level. Why would we want to protect you? Protect it's our money. It's our money that we were that we worked hard for. We worked hard. It's not somebody else's money. It's our money coming out of our bank account. That we have to explain to our wife why it might be less than it's supposed to be at some point in time <laughs> for some decision that we made that was incorrect. So I many deals this past year, we're doing this about two, three, about three years now together. Many, there have been deals that people have come to us. And we've actually said, to, and they come to us with, with money in their pockets. You know, how much money? We, we look, Bart likes to give money with no 100% with financing. I don't. But we work, we, we do compromises. And um, we turn down people, not on the basis of their credit or how much money they're putting in, but we've convinced people, we look, we've looked at deals, people have come to us, and we've looked at deals, and we've said, you know what, guys, this is not a good deal for and you know what? And, and they come back to us, well, I'll give you another one. And they come back a week later, and now that's a good deal for you. And we're really about establishing relationships with people who have, you know, I mean, it's funny, um, Bart won't brag at too much, but some of the biggest hitters in the city, and any name in Philly you think of, Bart gave them their first loan. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm not going to mention names. But I know if you heard some of the names, you'd say, wow. I mean, big guys. Blasting? Yeah. Think of the C. Start with C. Yeah, Blasting. 
But anyway, I'm not going to mention names. But, but I can tell you, Bart started lots of people. And Bart's been doing business for lots of years. And in our relationship, it's lots about, hey, well, let's do a deal. And we'll, you know what? There's no, not, not a lot of, um, what do you call it? Just minutia to deal with, you know? You call us on the phone, we send you a package to fill out the coupon file. You got a deal. I'm in Philly. I work in Philly. I'm in Philly every day. You get a Philly deal, and you find a deal. I could be there that day. We can come up with the, you know, we can evaluate it quickly. We come out and we see the deal. We're doing a couple jobs now in Philly. And, you know, we set up the pay schedule. We got paid. We got our discretion. The money went out that same day. You know, we're flexible. If something changes, we work within, we work within reason. What's good for everybody. And we do take care of our clients. They're our customers. And we want them to believe that we are the best. And we treat them that way. And, and that's, that's the, the idea, the, the concept that I want anybody who might want to lend money, uh, might want to borrow money from us, give us a chance, compare us, you know, go to other people. Compare, compare rates, but it's not always about the rate. The service sometimes is, better, is more important than the rate. You've got two attorneys that can back for you and, and vouch for you and, and guide you along the way, not to mention me who has a little bit of experience. So we're part of the team. When you borrow from us, you really, well, let's just say that you're, you're, you're joining the team when you borrow from us. It's a good concept. All right, so that's enough of our, uh, that's enough of that I'm going to sell you anymore. But I'm going to give you a talk with the answers from questions that you might have in your mind, and then I'll lead it open to the, to the whatever you guys ask. Somebody, who asked the question about what would you do, what would you do if you started out today? Who asked that question? Mark, give it a minute. Can I expand on it? Um, anybody that I know that is, a, is of any wealth is of that wealth not because they did flips. Okay? I look at it as, as the chicken and the golden egg. The chicken and the golden egg. All right? You don't sell the chicken. <coughs> is that pretty clear? You don't sell the chicken. I've been a long-term buy and hold guy. I've done that. I kick myself sometimes. On some of the properties that I've sold, I, 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 I've got a I don't know, but I had an argument with my title company. Um, and someone said, you, have you done, how many deals have you done? I said, I don't know, 500 deals. And she screamed at me. She said, you liar. I've done, I, you've done many more than that just with me. So I've done a lot of deals over the past 50 years. Okay? I, used to do, I used to do 50 deals a year. I used, to, I used to do a deal a week. And I have a book in the office that documents every deal I did each year. And we're virtually 50 deals. Now, deal, in my book, a deal was, if I bought it, it was a deal. If I sold it, it was a deal. So any time I could generate a hug wire, <coughs> in my mind, that was a deal. So I, I turned over that many deals. It's that many negotiations I've been involved in. It's that many different problems that I run into at the end, you know, at the end of the day. That many solutions I found to other problems. So a guy like me on your team, you know, it could be an asset. Um, and, and I'm listening to me and being such a good audience, I'll give you my phone number anyway. So if you want to write down my phone number, just because you want it. Bart already did. Bart gave a couple of minutes, but I'm, I'm in, that was about lending. If I'm inviting you to call it anyway, okay? It's 215 740 200. And that's my cell number. And that's, that's, cell number. that's my cell number, and that's the number I always answer. I always answer every time. Every time I answer. Every time. Every time. And every tenant, every tenant has this number. I answer every time. But when I go home, you don't think the companies are, are, are putting in fake? Oh, that's what I'm doing! <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing! Now, now, now. now here's how I do it. Here's, here's really how I do it. Number one, my daughter rents from me. So she called me the other day. I said, is this a daddy call or a landlord call? Because it depends on the time of night. She called me at 8 o'clock at night. I said, this better be a daddy call. So, so she wanted something, and I came and did it, or said something in the minutes. I said, now you got to say something nice about me. You know, who's your landlord? Right. Or when, when I, like to, if I do good service to somebody, and, and I say, oh, hey, Mitch, wow, thank you. So, blah, blah, or, or, or if I don't charge him because I had a couple things for garbage disposal. You know, goodwill is really, goodwill is valuable. And I said, okay, well, let's listen. You want to, or, 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 or the other day, two guys moved out at the end of, at the end of um, June. And they, they left the place gorgeous. It was July 1st. They walked into my office, or June 30th. 
And right there and then, I wrote them their money back. I gave them their security deposit back. Right there and then, they were with me for years. I said, okay, here's your money back. Wow, wow, one's going out of town. They're both going out of town. One guy's going to San Francisco to try, or LA, trying to get into the, um, the, 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 the movie business, to be a writer. So I called a friend in LA. I said, look this guy up. And, and I'm telling now that I've been nice, we've been good, they go on this website and say something nice about me. So none of them are fake. They're all real. But they're kind of prompt. But, but when a tenant comes to meet you, some of them have already Googled you. Have you experienced that anywhere? Of course. Is, can you understand who said of course? So I'm not, I'm, I'm, that happens, right? People today will Google you. They don't know who you are because they're born. They don't know who you really are, who you say you are. <coughs> okay, for sure. Who's heard us? What's your name? Ken. Ken. Thank you, Ken. Who's heard of people po posing as landlords mm -hmm. and posing as owners but not really being the owner? Who's ever heard of that? Yeah. Too many times. You've never heard of that? Too many times. It happens. There was a property <coughs> on Grace, off the Grace Ferry Avenue in Philadelphia. The property was gorgeous. It was a three story by level with a roof deck. The rent was like $3,000 a month. Gorgeous in South Ferry Square. It was off of Grace Ferry, like off of South Street, Grace Ferry, like right in the night. Like, and you know what's like right there, right there where it has to be. The story goes like this. Story go, true story goes like this. <laughs> I get more phones that way. <laughs> true story goes like this. Somebody comes, walks into the real estate office, and picks up a key to go look at the property. Well, they brought the key back at the end of the day. In that period of the day, they collected nine deposits <laughs> at half the price. So instead of being 3,000, they collected nine deposits in 1,500 cash and disappeared. Good, good day's work. Good day's work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, I'm telling you, 41, 42 years of stories. I can tell you. So anyway, people, the point is that people now today are getting more savvy, and people will Google you, and, and someone will call me. Yeah. And they go, wow. Oh, oh, just happened this week. A um, college kid, one of the sign up police, he said, Hold, let me take it home for my father to see. I said, Fine. Thanks to talk to New York. The father called me. We got to talk. Got to call me Sunday morning at like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm with family. And he starts to tear my lease apart. I don't know where I'm coming from. No. And every time he said, and I, I'm saying, Okay, because really, the truth is, very rarely do the little fine points and the things I put in at least ever come to fruition. They tend to make me feel good. They really don't really ever really happen often. So I'm going to give in here and I'm going to give in there. Make, make the, the father feel better. Father's in the insurance business. I always ask, what business are you in? He's in the insurance. So any, any item in regard to insurance, he was like, oh, oh, oh. And, and then he realized he was being overbearing. Mm -hmm. He read, he read, and I'm giving in everything. Or I'm explaining to him that in Philadelphia, <coughs> things are different. It's just true. Philadelphia, we take first class security. In New York, they don't. Yeah. Okay? So there's different responsibilities in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, on the books, it's the tenant's job. On the Philadelphia books, it says that the tenant's responsible for bugs. Okay, so there's things that are really guided and understand. The guy stops. He says, Listen, I'm sorry, don't get me wrong. I Googled you. Right then I knew I was good. Because if he Googled me, he saw who's your landlord. He saw I'm a great landlord. And you read the review, forget the number. But Bart said, call after six. Six o'clock, the phone's off. I'm not a 24 hour answer. No. No. <laughs> so, anybody who's ever really been established to any kind of wealth has not done it by flipping. Not done it by flipping. Though it's nice to make 10 grand here, 20 grand here. Um, you, you, establish, you establish some kind of a base of assets. It's all about assets. It's all about acquiring assets. And people have done well have recognized in Philadelphia or anywhere different neighborhoods that were near <coughs> not the nicest neighborhoods that were possibly right on the edge of the nicest neighborhoods. Neighborhoods near schools, universities. Neighborhoods near hospitals. Different neighbors that tend to maybe like in two, three years 
it will be, you know, like like for example, who knows, you know, who knows Baltimore Avenue? Hold up, Baltimore Avenue. All right, you go up that Baltimore Avenue, development goes all the way up Baltimore Avenue up to what street? 50th. No. 50th. Uh, right, no, stop, sorry, stop. Who said 50th? You're exactly right. Exactly right. Well, I bought 5031 Baltimore Avenue. <laughs> it's ghetto. But it's 40, but 4900, <coughs> it's gorgeous. Like, like up yuppie yuppie, college kids, but 50 other. So, so to, to intelligently purchase, now Bart also says something else. This is really important. You make money not when you sell a brown buy. You make money when you you make money when you buy the property, okay? And what percent taxes do you pay when you sell, when above your profit, what percent do you pay when you sell your property? What is the answer? What percent do you pay Uncle Sam when you sell your property? No. It could be 15, it's long term. Am I get the right answer? 33%. Does it depend on your tax bracket? No, because if you're a dealer and you make a real money, you're going to pay third. He's your partner. He's my partner. <laughs> but he's always right. He's like my wife. He's always right. <laughs> okay, if you're a dealer, okay? But my point is, you got to pay a lot of taxes when you sell your property. Do you agree? How much taxes do you pay when your property appreciates 40%? <laughs> so what's uh, my point? So you're you're real estate tax. You're, you're, what's your name? No, don't turn around. You. Zach. Zach. You're listening. Hey. What's my point, Zach? Your point is if you have appreciation, you're not paying that, you're not paying for that appreciation. It's free. Taxes, no taxes. But what happens over years? What happens to the rents? They go up. They go up. Was this so bad to have a long-term plan? Is this I mean I long term, I don't mean five years. I mean twenty year plan. Have a long term have a be patient. It'll happen. Be patient. Keep your properties up. Be a really good landlord. Be the best landlord that your tenant has ever seen. Who's ever heard of a website called Who'sYourLandlord.com? Who's got it? Who, who can? Who can? Uh, let's let's that. Let's have a second. Who's able to Google me? Can somebody Google me right now? Are you able to do that on your phone right now? What comes up? Let's play. Can you Google me right now? Who's the first one to Google? Jeremy's the wait, this is the techie. You guys can understand how savvy Jeremy is in technology. Uh, you guys can be exposed to his extreme knowledge of that world. Did anybody Google me at home? No, you guys? Mitchell Ripkin. All right, I'm going in lots of directions because I'm just kind of battling. Nobody? What you're going to get? <coughs> they come up here? No, sir. You got it? Yeah. What'd you get? Did you see who's your landlord.com? Yeah. What's the first thing you see? Who's it's a website. Who's your landlord.com? First thing that comes up. It's a website. Who ever heard of Rager Professor? And college kids, Rager Professor, well, those of us that are too old to remember that. Um, it's, a, it's a system where Kids in college rate their professors. <coughs> and it's called rateyourprofessor.com. Professors, you can see where they're rated. Well, there's a website called who? Well, there's you. There's me. 4.3, 85%. 4.3 out of 5. Okay, so it used to be 10. So what happens is tenants rate the landlords. 85% recommend you. 85%. I had one, I had two, three problems. One, I had one tenant think it was true deposit back because they didn't deserve it and they bad out. So you don't tell people about it that don't like you. Number two, <laughs> number two, number two, I had a house full of girls from UArts. And they loved me. For two years they loved me. They were great, perfect tenants. Well, I asked them to say something nice about me. You know why they didn't give me a perfect five? Because you asked for it. <laughs> no, no, much deeper than that. A bunch deeper than that. Really deep. It's really deep. They didn't give me a print. Now, what did I say? They were, they were students. You are learning what? They were dancers. They were 
Per, like, what do you mean? Per, like, like, so you think you can dance? <laughs> Dancers. Really top ballet, jazz, hip hop, yeah. that kind of dancer. Get out the do a little spin. Mitch can't box yeah, drop. He's got So, <laughs> listen, listen. I said, I said, what do you mean you give me a 4.5? <coughs> Why don't you give me a 5? He said, well, Mitch, nobody's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> because their whole life, they've been dancers. Uh, and nobody's ever told them that there's no room for improvement. Is that interesting psyche, right? Uh, so, yeah, so here's, so it's because people, today's world, if you're, I'm talking about Beatle, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about landlords. Is that okay? Would you do that? That's right. Okay. Um, my goal is to be the best landlord that anybody ever had. And it's so really funny because I created this. Like, not the website, but you ever see every year TripAdvisor? Right? Yes. You think they're all real? No. You think everything on TripAdvisor is legitimate, really done by a customer? No. You don't think the companies are are, are putting in fake? Oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Now, 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 now here's how I do it. Here's here's really how I do it. Number one, my daughter rents from. So she called me the other day. I said, is this a daddy call or a landlord call? Because it depends on the time of night. She calls me at 8 o'clock at night. I said, this better be a daddy call. You know, whatever. So I said, she wanted something, and I came and did it, or said something in the minutes. I said, now you got to say something nice about me. Who's your landlord? Okay. <laughs> or when, when I, like to, if I do good service to somebody, and, and I say, hey, Mitch, wow, thank you. So blah, blah, blah. Or, or, or if I don't charge him because I had to come fix the garbage disposal. You know, goodwill is really, goodwill is valuable. And I said, okay, well, let's listen, you want to, or, 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 or the other day, two guys went out at the end of, at the end of um, June, and they, they left the place gorgeous. It was July 1st. They walked into my office, or June 30th, and I, right there and then, I wrote them their money back. I gave them their security deposit back right there and then. They were with me for years. I said, okay, here's your money back. Wow. One's going out of town. No, they're both going out of town. One guy's going to... San Francisco to try, or LA trying to get into the, um, the, 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 the movie business to be a writer. So I called a friend in LA. I said, look this guy up. And, and I said, okay, now that I've been nice, we've been good, they go on this website and say something nice about me. So none of them are fake. They're all real, but they're kind of prompt. But, but when a tenant comes to meet you, some of them have already Googled you. Have you experienced that anywhere? Of course. Is, can you understand who said, of course? So I'm not, I'm, I'm, it happens, right? People today will Google you. They don't know who you are because number one, they don't know who you really are, who you say you are. <coughs> okay, for sure. Who's heard us? What's your name? Ken. Ken. Thank you, Ken. Who's heard of people po posing as landlords mm -hmm. and posing as owners, but not really being the owner? Who's ever heard of that? Yeah. Okay. So that you've never heard of that? Too many times. It happens. Mm -hmm. There was a property <coughs> on Grace, off of Grace Ferry Avenue in Philadelphia. The property was gorgeous. It was a three-story bi-level with a roof deck. The rent was like three thousand dollars a month. Gorgeous in South Philly. It was off of Grace Ferry, like off of South Street, Grace Ferry, right in the night. And you know what? It's right there, right there, where it has to be. The story goes like this. Yes. The story goes. True story goes like this. <laughs> I get more phones that way. <laughs> True story goes like this. Somebody comes, walks into the real estate office, and picks up a key to go look at the property. Well, they brought the key back at the end of the day. In that period of the day, they collected nine deposits <laughs> at half the price. So instead of being 3,000, they collected nine deposits at 1,500 cash and disappeared. Good, good day's work. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I'm telling you, 41, 42 years of stories. I can tell you. So anyway, people, the point is that people now today are getting more savvy, and people will Google you, and and someone call me, yeah. and they say, "Wow, oh, oh, just happened this week." A um, college kid wanted to sign up a lease. He said, "Hold, let me take it home for my father to see." I said, "Fine." Takes you to New York. The father called me. We got to talk. Got to call me Sunday morning at like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm with family. And he starts to tear my lease apart. I don't know where I'm coming from. No. And every time he said, and I, I'm saying, okay, because really the truth is, 
Very rarely do the little fine points in the things I put in least ever come to fruition. They never make me feel good. They really don't really ever really happen often. So I'm going to give in here, and I'm going to give in there. Make, make the, the father feel better. Father's in the insurance business. I always ask, what business are you in? He's in the insurance. So any, any item in regard to insurance, he was like, oh, oh, oh. And, and then he realized he was being overbearing. Mm -hmm. he he and I'm giving in everything. Or I'm explaining to him that in Philadelphia, <coughs> things are different. It's just true. Philadelphia, we take first class security. In New York, they don't. Yeah. Okay? So there's different responsibilities in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, on the books, it's the tenant's job. On the Philadelphia books, it says that the tenant's responsible for bugs. Okay? So there's things that are really guided and understand. The guy stops. He says, listen, I'm sorry, don't get me wrong. I Googled you. Right then I knew I was good. Because if you Google me, he saw who's your landlord, he saw I'm a great landlord, and you read the review, forget the number.